Sexual abuse also happens to the girl next door. See their faces. My name is Sharetta Donaldson. My name is Sarissa. My name is Victoria. My name is Lori Bennett. My name is Carmen Hendricks. My name is Leah Forney. My name is Kenya Parks. And I am a sexual abuse survivor. Survivor. A survivor. 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 According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the definition of sexual assault is illegal sexual contact that usually involves force upon a person without consent or is inflicted upon a person who is incapable of giving consent. Statistics say that every 98 seconds in America, someone is victimized by sexual assault. I was molested by my biological father. Statistics tell us that 90% of child sexual abuse victims know their abuser. Those who molest children look and act just like everyone else. Abusers can be neighbors, friends, and family members. A family member came and asked me to take a walk with him. He took me in an old abandoned house and began to do things to me that at eight years old, I didn't know anything about. One in four girls will be sexually abused before they turn 18. There were several things that he did to me as a child that a child should never have to go through. And I suffered as a result of that. We're living in a world that has people that will take advantage of children's innocence. Ever since I was young, as young as five years old, men, I felt that it was okay to put their hands on me. I can remember the first incident. We were actually headed to church. My mom was in the passenger seat and his mother was driving. He was way older than me and I was only five years old. And he put his hands up my skirt. I was very ashamed and embarrassed. I thought I was gonna get in trouble, so I didn't tell my mom. I never told anyone about either one of the events because I was very afraid of being looked at as the cause. Rape is the penetration, no matter how slight, of any body part or object or oral penetration by a sex organ of another person without the consent of the victim. Seven and ten is the fraction of rapes committed by someone the victim knows. So he proceeds to kind of back me into that corner and he starts tugging on my pants and I had on these black spandex leggings and so he's tugging at them and I'm saying you know what are you doing stop and he's proceeding to like tug them so that they come off well they rip and he's proceeding to put his hands in my private area and I'm just like stop no I don't want to do this stop well he is getting even more aggressive and he begins to lock me in in some type of bear hug after the abuse Victims remain silent for various reasons. Shame, stigma, fear of being called a liar, or because they just want to get beyond the pain. They worry about their lives, their families, and being demonized in the justice system. But where is their justice? My aunt walked in and caught this guy doing those things to me. And she told me never, can you never tell anyone? At that moment, she didn't understand, but she took more away from me than the person who touched me ever could because she silenced me. She took my voice. People have been told to hush. The hush is over. So now I'm here and it's a new day indeed, releasing the hurt so I can finally say baby.